Off Shalom, let's start off with uh, Colossians 3 and 17 as always. This power going for the most high. Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever that I do, a word or deed, do all by Hashem of Mashiach Kelvashah. Give me thanks to the Most High and the Father. How? By Hashem of Mashiach Kelvashah. So all that we say and do is going to be in the name of the Lord and Savior. We give thanks to the Most High. Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. By Hashem of Mashiach Kelvashah. So we're going to go into Leviticus 26 chapter. And we're going to... Uh, Continue on going over the laws, and we're gonna go to Leviticus 26 chapter, and we're gonna start at uh, verse um, start at verse three. Leviticus 26 and three. Book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 3. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in due season. And the land shall yield in her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Right. So he said, if we walk in his commandments and do them, then what he's saying here, we're going to be blessed. As it says, go to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. No different than you look at here, in Leviticus, and somebody get Job 33 and 14 for me. Because you got to understand, this, these are the laws that was given to us as the children of Israel. And we followed them, just what he said. And he told us here, he told us right here in Deuteronomy 28 and 1 and 2. Read that. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Most High, thy power. So we have to listen to the Most High's voice. And it, with a voice comes what? After voice comes what? The only way you can hear a voice is to, to hear what? Words. Words, right. Uh -huh. So, to hear the word, then you have to hear from Mashiach Yahushai, who is what? Or who? The word of the Most High. You uh -huh. understand? So, he's here, but he's a spirit. He's not in the flesh, he's a spirit. So, if you listen to the voice of the Most High, and the word of the Most High that came out from a Mashiach Yahushai, since we're Mashiachim, as it says in 1 Corinthians 3.23, when there is no New Testament, and they give an understanding of what we were following from the beginning. You see this, read. To, to observe and do, and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Most High, thy power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So he told us he'll set us on high above all nations of the earth. Read. And all these blessings shall come on thee. Yeah. So we follow his voice, follow his commandments, follow his laws, statutes, commandments, his rules and regulations. We will be blessed. All these blessings will come upon us. He'll set us above all nations of the earth, which is what the kingdom is about. If you endure to the end, and the Most High find favor in us to write us in his book of life. You see? That's what it's all about, eternal life. Read. And overtake thee. All these blessings shall come upon us and overtake us. Read. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Most High, thy power. If we listen to the voice of the Most High, our power. Okay? But what do we do? Daniel 9. Now what about you? I, I told you to give me uh, Job. 33 and 14. Read that. Who got that? 
Come on, I'll ask y'all. I'm asking y'all to somebody else to get it, but get, y'all get it. Read. Zoe 33 and 14. Come. For the most high speaketh once, yet yeah, twice, yet yeah, man perceiveth it not. So we've heard the same thing twice. We heard it in Leviticus 26 chapter, and we heard it again, where? In Deuteronomy 28 chapter 1 and 2. And you can read all the way down to 14, all the blessings that he would bless us with. And it stops there. Then it starts at 15. If you don't listen to me, I'm going to bring all these curses upon you. And from 15 to verse 68 are the curses that befell we as the children of Israel because Daniel 9 and 11. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Huh. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against them. See? We sinned against them. That's why these curses that I was telling you about from verse 15 and chapter the 28th chapter of Deuteronomy to 68 came upon we the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Verse 12, and he hath confirmed his words, which he spake un against us. You see what he said? He confirmed his word. You look at our story, you see the Most High confirmed our word. You can just read the scriptures and see. We in captivity after captivity after captivity. Till we in captivity now. Read. And against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil. Yeah. But who is this he? The most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. See, verse 10. Daniel chapter 9, verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the most high, our power. See, that's what he's talking about. We didn't obey the voice of the most high, our power. Read. To walk in his law. Which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. See? Back to 12. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 12. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judge us, by bringing upon us a great evil. See, the Most High brought upon us this great evil. Because he told us, you don't follow me? I'm going to bring these curses on you. And the curses are a great evil God. that he did. Because I tell you, uh, Isaiah 45 and 7, that he created evil. God. Read. By bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. That's right, man. Nothing's been done under the whole heaven like he did to us, the children of Israel, his chosen people. That's why you're looking at it, this evil he brought upon us, but he's going to bring love and happiness and joy upon the people that he says nothing will be like on the spittle. Yeah. Come on, make that make sense. And they, not, they haven't followed the laws of the Most High. All of a sudden, the end of the world, they're going to come back to the laws of the Most High in this generation, and they're going to receive the benefits that we have suffered from captivity after captivity after captivity after captivity. And the most I still bringing this on us today. You, you feel me? Right. And all you got to do is just call on the name of the Lord and you're going to be saved. You're going to, you're going to have salvation. Give me a break, man. And you talk, you don't even have to follow the laws. You're not under the law. Me. Verse 13. Daniel chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written in the law of Moses, all this... All this evil is come upon us, yet made we not our prayer before the Most High our power, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. He tell you, understand thy law. Another, it says, you know, you, you see what it says, as it is written in the law of Moses. In the end, with understand what? Thy truth. The truth is the laws of the Most High. Read. Verse 14, Therefore hath the Most High watched upon the evil, and brought it upon us. For the Most High our power is righteous in all his works which he doeth. 
for we obeyed not his voice. There it is. So that we ain't never obeyed myself outside. Get John 10 and, and I mean 1 and 10. We ain't obey the most high's voice. But you can read one and you can read John uh St. John 1 and 1, first of all. Uh, show you the word of the most high. Uh, read that. St. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with the Most High. And the word was Amashiach, Yahweh Shah. The same in the beginning. Was, same word. Salakia. The same was in the beginning with the Most High. Right. The same was in the beginning of the Most High. What was, who was in the beginning with the Most High? The word of the Most High. You have a voice. And from a voice comes what? Words. Oh. You know, the people want to try and make it so, be so deep in their thoughts and so forth. They read Revelation 19 and 13. This is my shot. Throw the shot. Straight up. You can't get no clearer than this. Revelation 19 and 13. Book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dripped in blood. And his name is called the Word of the Most High. There it is. Just what his name is called. The Word of the Most High. Who is that? Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. That's him. Look at uh, 1 John 5 and 7. First John 5 and 7. First John chapter 5 verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. Meaning they are in agreement. But you see it say the Father, the Word, identifying the Mashiach that was shot as the Word again. So let's go back to Leviticus. Let's pick it up where we left off at, in verse, chapter 26, and verse 5. This is the blessing that he said, if we keep the commandments of the Most High and do them, we got to do these commandments, you know, these blessings will come upon us, verse 5. Where we at? Leviticus 26, that's what we're going to, Leviticus 26, chapter, verse 5. Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 5. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through the, through your land. See? Go ahead. Verse 7. And ye shall chase your enemies. And they shall fall before you by the sword. Hear what he said? He said, we're going to chase our enemies and they're going to fall before us by the sword. This is the power that the Most High has given us. All we have to do is what? Come back to his law, statute, commandments. We say, Most High, we're, we're following the law, statute, commandments of the Most High. Now, you said we would, we would be able to chase our enemies and they shall fall before us by the sword. Read. This is what he's saying, read. Verse 8. And five of you shall chase a hundred. <laughs> what did it say? And five of you shall chase a hundred. So do we need a, a multitude? Uh -huh. <laughs> do we really need a multitude of soldiers? Uh -huh. What did he say? 
Five of you shall chase a hundred. You say five of us shall chase how many? A hundred. A hundred. Huh. Go ahead. And a hundred of you shall put ten thousands to flight. Ten thousand to flight. Yeah. It says, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. Read. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. That's right, man. That's what the most high said. Right. Look at um Go to Deuteronomy, hold that, get hold that we, 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 we mark that because we're gonna be going over the video is twenty six chapter. We're gonna come back there. Go to Deuteronomy thirty two. And read verse uh Start at verse uh, 27. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 27. Were it not that, like it, were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries, adversary. adversary. like least their adversaries should be, behave themselves strangely, at least they shall, should say, our hand is high. And the Most High have d not done all this. Right. Our enemies will say, hey, the Most High, they say, their hand is high. The Most High haven't done all this, read. For they are a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise. That they understood this. That they would consider their latter end. And he's screaming at us, telling us this. He's screaming at us and all that we would consider. And consider what? Our latter end. Read. Verse 30. How should one chase a thousand and put and two. How could one chase a thousand and two put ten, ten thousand to flight? Except their rock had sold them. And the most high had shut them up. Mm -hmm. For their rock is not as our rock. Their rock is not like our rock, read. Right? Even our enemies themselves being judges. Even our enemies being judges. Mm -hmm. And they judging over us right now. And we supposed to be the judges over everyone. According to the laws of the Most High, read. Right? For their vine is of the vine of Sodom. And of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of God. Their clusters are bitter. This is what we're dealing with. Our enemies, especially, especially the death. What was Solomon Gomorrah dealing with mainly? All kind of perverse sexual acts. Men with men and women with women. And so forth and so on. And with children too. I mean they had children doing things that was abominable. Read. Verse 33. Their wine is the poison of dragons. And the Cruel venom of ass. So you're looking at even Esau, man. Their wine, their influence is the poison of dragons. You got that dragon, you got the serpent, uh, you got the snake. The Alps is poison of snakes, man. That's what they're dealing with. So knowing this, are we going to follow this? We're not going to realize that this is all against us? When the Most High told us, he gave us laws to go by. Get a... Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay, Isaiah 33 and 6. Who got it? Isaiah 33 and 6. For wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Most High is His church. That's right. So, wisdom and knowledge is supposed to be the stability of our times, man. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Most High is His treasure. So, if you're not afraid, you're not, you don't, you don't value Him to be afraid or scared of Him. You do whatever you want to do because you, you still think that you under some kind of 
uh, demonic spell as is as as have been perpetrated within these different religions and so forth. Thinking that they don't have to, you know, they go crazy when you say you gotta fear the most high, you gotta be afraid of him. Knowing all the things that is written in this Bible that he said he just said he put evil upon us. Why? Because we ain't follow his voice. We ain't follow his words. Go back to Leviticus 26. Verse 6. And I think it was in Five and uh, eight. Eight? Okay. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 8. And five of you shall chase a hundred. Mm. And a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. Ten thousand to flight, man. A hundred. Put ten thousand to flight. How many is that? That's like a hundred. It takes ten to make a thousand. Ten hundred to make a thousand. When you multiply that by ten, that's man, that's that's powerful. You subtract ten from ten thousand, you got what? Nine hundred and nine thousand nine hundred? You got a hundred put nine thousand nine hundred. That's the odds. You know what I mean? A hundred of them men with a hundred eyes, but we gonna kill those hundred and nine hundred nine nine thousand nine hundred more. That's powerful, right? <laughs> and that's by the sword. Ain't by no guns and no uh, uh, machine guns and, and and cannons and bombs and all that, right? We talk about hand to hand combat, warriors, we. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. That's right. This is all through the mouth side. But the most I say he's going to do. That's our power being with us. That's why they, they, they knew this, man. I mean, get get uh, Judas 5 and 17 in the pocket. They knew this, man. The nations knew this. Show you how this is a... Uh, a conversation between a soldier and his general. The nations knew this. Judas 5 and the book of that 17. Who got it? Judas chapter 5, verse 17. And, and while they sin not before their power. See, when we don't sin before our power. This is this is a, a conversation letting let the general know, hey man, gotta lead them children Israel alone. If we don't sin before the most high, if we don't sin before him, better watch out. That's what he's gonna tell you. Listen. Um go ahead. Where you start at? Judas chapter five, verse seventeen. No, start at um yeah, go ahead. That's cool. And while they sin not before their power, uh huh, they prospered. They prospered. They prospered. When we didn't sin before the Most High, we prospered. When we didn't sin before the Most High, we prospered. Just like the Most High is telling us in these laws that we read and we going over. Come on. Because. Because the power that had iniquity was with them. See? Because the Most High that hated. Come on, let's, you don't say have. The Most High don't have no iniquity. The Most High hated iniquity was with them. And while they sinned not before their power, they prospered. Because the Most High that hated iniquity was with them. He hate us to sin. He hates sin. He was with us. Read. But when, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles with very sore. See? So when we departed from the Most High's way, which is his law, that's commandments, we were destroyed. This is the heathens telling the general about 
We the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. We were destroyed in many battles, very sore, read. Right? And were led captives into a land that was not there. And the temple of their power was cast was cast to the ground. And their cities were taken by the by the enemy. This is real, y'all. Read. Really? Verse 19. But now are they returned to their power. So here we are now returning to the most high. Following his law, says commandments, or else you're going to be dealt with worse than the heathen that's and the ones that's Gentiles of our nation that have not been called as of yet. So say, hey, so you can be with many stripes. Now, you want the many stripes, you think you can handle the most high, then hey, handle it. And his, his hand's worse than the, anything that man can do. That's why my second side warned us, right? Tell you, you should fear, fear him that when he have cast into hell, I mean, have killed. Can cast your butt into hell. Fear him. Yeah. Fear the most high. So it says. Verse 20 again. No. Uh, verse 19. Judah chapter 5 verse 19. But now are they. Returned to their power. And are. And are come up. From the places. Where they were scattered. And have possessed Jerusalem. Where, where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate yeah it was desolate just like a desolate now until we get back there to the most high put us back in our land God. read verse 20 now therefore my power and governor if, if there be any error in these in this people, and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Read that again. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Get up. We sin against the Most High. This going to be our ruin. Read. And let us go up. And we shall overcome them. See. That's why we overcome right now, y'all. Because right. the majority of our people are in sin. They're doing the things that are contrary to the laws of the Most High. And they're taught purposely that they don't want to follow the Most High. If you taught that you not under the law. You really taught that you don't have to follow the Most High. Whose laws are they? They're His laws. Right. They're His laws. So you're telling people that they don't have to follow Him. Bring Him to shame. And he's going to bring them to shame. Right. Oh to the utmost. Read. And we can look at this too. Let us consider that if we don't, we don't follow the most size laws, which would be sinning against who? Their power. You sin. People think, I don't know, if, if they're his laws, and when we sin, we sin it against him. But it's almost like they're, they're, they have the mindset of when you do something wrong, there's something wrong that you're doing against yourself. Which it is, but if you're sinning against the most high, you are, you're bringing forth iniquity against him. So when you think about not being uh, wicked and doing abominable things that's against him, then maybe that will bring the fear, more fear into you in wanting to do what was what's right to please him. Yeah. And not sometimes to please yourself. Yeah. Read. Verse, Judah chapter 5 verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. If we don't have sin. If we're not sinning. You gotta understand. And this is where we at. In coming back. To the law of such commandments. And having faith in the Mashiach. Galashai, going to the most on our behalf. If there's no wickedness. No sin. And we the 12 tribes of Israel. That's what he's talking about. That's what we're giving an account to. Concerning us. Read. 
Let my Lord now pass by. You better leave him alone. That's what he said. Pass him by. You better leave them alone. Read. Really? Right. Least their power while Masiach Yahushai defend them and their power be for them and we become a reproach before all the world. That's why I say you better read that and understand it. Nations. Because we that's coming back to the most High's laws truthfully and sincerely and ain't faking and being genuine. This is what this will take I look forward to. Power of the most high, man. And where's his angels at? Right here on the earth. Waiting on the commandment of the most high. In all ways, shapes, and forms. And beyond their imagination. Let's go back to uh and the same thing you can read in uh, Ezekiel 39, 23, and 24. They go right together. Just in case somebody wants to say, that's apocryphal. You said Ezekiel what? Go to Ezekiel 39, 23, and 24. Read that. Who got it? Ezekiel 39 and 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. See? These other nations know that we went into captivity. For what? For their iniquity. For breaking the law, statute commandments of the Most High. So why do you think they would want you to come back to the law, statute commandments of the Most High? When they know that we went into captivity, they had us in, they have us in captivity. Why? For their iniquity. For our iniquity. Or breaking the most high's laws. Read. Because they have trespassed against me. Because they trespass against the most high. When you sin, you look at yourself, but you sinning against the most high. You breaking his laws. Read. Therefore hid I my face from them. And gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. So that's why we fell by the sword, man. Read. According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions have I done unto them, and I hid my face from them. He hid his face from us because we didn't follow his laws, statutes, commandments. Point blank. You don't take a rocket science to figure that out. That's pretty much broken down itself in the words that he said. Go back to Leviticus 26. Verse 9. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 9 For I will have respect unto you and make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you. That's right man, understand this. The most I say you have respect unto us. Get Exodus 2.25 so you know who that you is. Y'all take it so long to get scriptures. Well, somebody else get it, buddy. You didn't have to go. Exodus 2 and 25. And the Most High looked upon the children of Israel, and the Most High had respect unto them. See? The Most High looked upon the children of Israel, and the Most High had respect unto them. The Colossians 3 25. So the Most High said, He had respect unto us, we the children of Israel. But what did he say also? Colossians 3.25 For all the gang saying individualists <laughs> Read that Colossians 3.25 And he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done And there is no respect of person See, he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done And what? There is no respect of person Yeah, ain't no respect of no individuals man. No respect of persons, man with the most high but he say have respect unto Israel we as a nation that's why we went in captivity individualists no as a nation the righteous and the wicked went into captivity slavery and bondage let's go back to Leviticus 26 let's pick it up where we left off Leviticus chapter 26 verse 10 and ye shall eat old store and bring forth the old because of the new 
and I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. So he said he's going to set his tabernacle among us, and his spirit shall not hate us. Shall not hate us, man. If we do what? Follow his commandments, man. But did we do that? Nope. We found another way, man. And it was a wrong way. Why we're in the condition we're in now. It's, why we, it's, a, it's a reason why we're in the condition we're in, because we didn't want to follow his way. Look at uh, Psalm 106 and read verse uh, 24. Psalms 106 and 24. Yeah, they despise the present land. Despise the present land, read. They believe not his word. They ain't believe his word. They ain't believe what the most high had told us as we reading this is this is what happened as we reading him telling us what to do and what we did after he gave us his voice after he gave us his word after he gave us his laws touch commandments as he gave us his rules and regulations read but murmur in their tent. like some murmuring now wherever they live at in their homes they murmuring read and hearken not unto the voice of the Most High. They didn't want to listen to the voice of the Most High. They didn't want to hear Mashiach Gavashai tell us what to do. Read. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in the land. See? Now jump to verse uh, uh, 39. Thirty nine. That's what they defiled with their own works. See, we were defiled with our own works, the things that we done. Ready? And went a whoring with their own inventions. And went a whoring with their own inventions, man. Created new gods and different things to follow. And had the people and the children follow this madness. Not following the laws, such commandments of the Most High. His rules and regulations. Read what happened. Therefore was the wrath of the Most High kindled against his people. The wrath of the Most High was kindled against we, the twelve tribes of Israel, read. And so much that he abhorred his own inheritance. Hear that? He abhorred his own inheritance. We well, just said he would not abhor us. But we did wrong. So you think he's going to love you and you're not doing what's right? You're doing abominable things? No. He gonna hate you too, no matter how you in your mind you think he loves you. He gonna hate you too. Read. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. And they that hated them ruled over them. You know, they that hated us ruled over us. Not those that loved us. Those that hated us ruled over us. Read. Their enemies also oppressed them. And they were brought in, into subjection under their hand. Yeah. From the... Egyptians to the Assyrians to the Babylonians to the Persian the Medes to the Greeks to the Romans the Arabs everybody had us in captivity man right. had their hand and have us in captivity really many times did he deliver them but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity nevertheless he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry yeah and you're not going to regard our affliction until you hear our cry. The only time the most I had pity on us as the children of Israel when he heard our cry. Me? And he remembered for them his covenant. And repented according to the multitude of his mercy. See? He remembered his covenant with, with who? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, to the twelve tribes of Israel. And repented according to his multitude of his mercies. Read. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried their captives. He made us be pitied among all them that carried us captives. Read. Save us, O Yahweh, our power, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name 
and to triumph in thy praise. That's right, man. Save us, O Most High. We need to be saved. We need to be singing this song. We need to be proclaiming this with a loud voice. Save us, O Most High, our power, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Praise the Most High. Hello, y'all. Come on, read. Let's be the Most High power of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Hello, yeah. Praise ye the most high. high. So, you know, our mind don't mean praise ye the most high, right? <laughs> what, what, what mean praise the most what's the, what's the highest praise of the most high? Hello, yeah. Khan? Hmm. Make you think, huh? See how they got that there? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. That's the ultimate praise, right? Praise ye the most high. How we say it? Hello, yeah, God. Hmm. Go back to Leviticus 29 chapter. Leviticus chapter 26. 26. Verse 11. Verse 11, come. I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. See, that's what he told us, but you, he just told us, hey, he hated us. Uh -huh. Abhor me to hate. He hated us because, because of what? We didn't follow us. Lost his commandments, read. Verse 12. And I will walk among you, and will be your power, and ye shall be my people. I am the Most High of power, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be there bondmen, and I have no, lucky, and I have broken the bounds of your yoke and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statue, or if your soul abhor my judgment, so that ye will not do all my commandments, <coughs> but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning at A. Agu. Agu. That shall consume the eye and cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow, sow your seed in vain. And your enemies shall eat it. Just for your enemies shall eat it. Salakia. For your enemies shall eat it. Verse 17. And I will set my face against you. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. Yeah, man. I mean, this happened. I mean, go to Ezekiel 35. For we, the children of Israel today, bring some bring some clarification into today's time. Read verse 1. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against, against Mount Seir, and prophesy against thee. Right, so, because remember he said he's going to have our, they that hate us rule over them. Over us. So, go to, uh, who is this Mount Seir? Go to Genesis. Genesis 36 and 8. No, go to 1 first. Genesis 36 and 1. Come. Now, these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Right, so these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Which means red. Esau is our paternal twin wicked brother, representing the, the forefather of the so-called Caucasian race. And Edo means red. So now, verse 8. Verse 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. So when it says go prophesy against Mount Seir, it's talking about Esau. Read. Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. So Esau represents the so-called Caucasian race. 
Not just necessarily because they say white are they all Caucasian, are they all Esau or Edom. Remember, the Azar, his seed was cursed with leprosy. So, just because there's, right now it's white, you all right, so a lot of them that's the Azar seed would perpetrate a fraud and being Edomites. For some Edomites that look, some people that look like Edomites, they definitely denounce being an Edomite, you know, or so called Caucasian. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so go back to uh, Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35 and 1. one. Moreover, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Right, so he set his face against the so called Caucasian race or the Edomites. Read. <clears throat> And prophesy against me. Right, so we're going to get right to the point. Jump to verse 5. Because it says he's going to cause our enemies that hate us, hate you, to reign over us. Listen to what it says, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Not only a hatred, but what kind of hatred? A perpetual. They have had a perpetual hatred. Read. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. But the time that their iniquity had an end. Yeah. See, it's going to come a time, man, our iniquity had an end. And pretty much when the Most High allowed us, like we just read, when we followed His commandments, we followed His way, His law, His commandments, was, was obedient to His rules and regulations, He did what? He allowed us to come back to Israel. You know, and set up our temple and our sanctuary and so forth and worship Him. But when our time of our iniquity had an end, Edom came against us with the sword. Just like you got to look at, for you know, Revelation 12 and 12 said, the devil know we have a short time. And then he said, he's going to come down, read Revelation 12 and 17. So we understand, like you said, the time of our calamity had an end, and they're going to be killing us. And you see right now, every time we get killed, somebody, one of us get killed, what's the verdict? Not guilty. Because that's a perpetual hatred. You say whatever, the Bible is letting us know. How they feel, then this gonna tell you too, read. In Revelation 12 and 17. Mm -hmm. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. Which is the children of Israel. The dragon represents the serpent, which is red. The dragon, which is red. The um, devil is red. Satan is red. The beast is red. And Esau is red. When you read Genesis 25, 25, it says, And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. They called his name Esau. That's what we're dealing with. So it's going to be wrath with the woman when you read Jeremiah 6 and 2 said, I have likened the daughter of Zion, who we are, the 12 tribes of Israel, to a comely and delicate woman. So they're going to be wroth with the woman, which is the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, read. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. See, the remnant of her seed, of, of the 12 tribes of Israel's seed, read. Which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of the Messiah. That's right, man. That's why we have to have a relationship with the Most High. Because uh, that's what they're going to do, man. That's why I go back to Ezekiel 25 and 5. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Yeah. And the Lord said unto me, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Right. And prophesy against Therefore, as I live, saith the Most High. And the Most High living forever and ever and ever. Khan? 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 Khan. Khan. Go ahead. I will prepare thee unto blood. He's going to prepare them unto blood, read. And blood shall pursue thee. Mm-hmm. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right. Since you haven't hated blood, just shed blood, say blood going to pursue them. Ain't nothing they can do about it. Thus say the Most High. Go back to uh, Leviticus 26. Leviticus chapter 26. Read verse, verse 17. Then. Verse 17. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. And then you know. They that hate us shall reign over us. And Esau had a perpetual hatred against us. Reigning over us, read. 
and ye shall flee when none pursue us. So we're going to flee when nobody's pursuing us. Me? And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more than your sins. Woo! So you look at why the condition we in, man. He said, we don't listen to him, man. He said, going to us seven, punish us seven times more for our sins. Me. Verse 19. And I will break the pride of your power. There it is. The only reason why you're going to do the things that you do is because of pride. Uh -huh. See, I'm going to break the pride of your power, me. Uh -huh. And I will make your heaven as iron. Your condition of living, man, as iron, Reed. And your earth as brass. A hard life, Reed. And your strength shall be spent in vain. Wow. Go ahead. For your land shall not yield her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. So now, this is what he's doing to his chosen people. And the people that are, that are the heathen, that he said are nothing, to be less than nothing. All they got to do is just call on the name. All they got to do is just start in the end of the world. After all these generations of being against them, not caring about the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you say you're gonna bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins, and all they gotta do in the end, last days is just do these things, and they're gonna be able to go into the kingdom and be able to rule right along with us. Does that make any sense? I mean, you have to understand this is chosen people. He said he came down to Egypt and heard of a uh, language he didn't even understand. So how are you hearing these nations? <laughs> it's crazy, right? Uh -huh. The way people are having a... I mean, they already, we already deceived and going into different religions. And now that you got the Hebrew Israelites bringing in these... Uh, they bringing in the, the, uh, the false doctrines of telling these other nations that they're going to be saved right along with us. In the same position, pretty much. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. And this is their salvation right now. Nah. This is it. It's just going to be a righteous kingdom. It's not going to be like this. Right. Those of the heathen that do go into the kingdom to work and do the things that they're doing now only in the righteous kingdom. They should want to be there with us. Rather than being this wicked kingdom, because he's going to turn his back on everybody. He don't care about nobody. When they spray chemtrails, who they spray them on? Just the black people? No. They spray everybody. You see how the wind blowing? Okay, we got these chemtrails. That's to break down your immune system. To kill you slowly. In the food. The food chain. A million rats being allowed to be in the chicken involvement right <laughs> so many fingers and I mean it, that affects everybody except for them because they probably got their own everything you know they, they, Kim Trail is probably not where the elite is right. don't care about no one go ahead verse 22 I will also send wild beasts among you. Look at that. He said he's going to send wild beasts among us. Really? Which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle. These wild beasts, man, is Esau's a beast. Right. Huh. <laughs> he, he took our children, didn't he? Yeah. Took everything that we had when he came. He took everything. Huh. Really? And destroy your cattle and make you few in number. And your highway shall be desolate. As it is today, read. And if ye sh shall I and if ye will not be reformed by me, by these things. Look, we both be reformed. So if you look at uh get uh Romans 
12 and 3. So we're supposed to be reformed, y'all. So he say, if you won't be reformed by the Most High, by these things, and we cannot say that these things didn't happen. We can't look around and say these things are not even happening to us today. Yeah. To we as a people. Con? Con. So he said, if you won't be reformed from all these things, he's, like, he's doing and allowing to happen today. But we know it happened back then in, in, our, in our story. And even somewhat in his story. Look, they, when did they put roots on? The new roots. Memorial, Memorial Day. Remember this. Remember this. So called white young kids. <laughs> this is what we had these so called blacks in the condition of. This is where they came from. You see? When, he, when did it come on? Memorial Day. Remember this. I thought Memorial Day was supposed to be for uh, slain soldiers. Yeah. They, um, I saw a couple of clips on it. They said that, um, they said like two or three times that we did 12 the children of Israel the 12 tribes. Part of 12 tribes. Like, they slid it in there. They said it? They said it. So we gotta, we gotta get, I'll get those clips and I'll put them out. Huh, huh. Cause I think uh, we can get it on, you can get it online, so. You know what, what episode it was? No, I'll find out then. You'll find out what episode. You just, just whenever that part comes, just snap it. Stop. Pause it. Then when it goes, bam, put it out there so our people can hear this. Right. We got to find some way to open up our people's minds, man. Stop. To what we're saying is true. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm about, especially, especially people that go to church. Right. You know, in the secular churches. Right. Pagan, paganized churches. Right. It's dealing with all kind of madness, man. Yeah, we need to do that. Right. You remember, it was one of, it was just a, a... It was like two clips, two, I saw two or three clips. Was it, was it advertising it, or was it... It was, uh... The actual, uh... No, a brother had, um, sent me one, and then the other one I saw on Facebook. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, somebody already, somebody already put it out there? Fine. Okay, all right. Well, if we have that, then we can save it. We can, uh, share it with our people. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can find it. Okay. That's good. All right. Y'all praise the most high. Okay. Go ahead. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as... Read Romans 12. 12 and 2. Because a man is not supposed to be in pride. That's for real. That's 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 going into pride. Read, read verse 12 and 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Huh. And be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world. Read. But be ye transformed. You got to be transformed how? By the renewing of your mind. Right. Our minds have to be renewed. The way we think, it has to be renewed. Why? Because we've been brain polluted. Everyone, one way or another, have a story of how they have been brain polluted. Or still brain polluted in the way you think. How you've been programmed. And you haven't been brainwashed because if you watched then you would know the things that you're learning right now. We would know that. But we don't know that, so we got to continue to search and research and study and review to study to show ourselves approved unto the most high through his word. Read, is that it? Uh -huh. Go ahead. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. That's right, that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. To become this in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 Therefore if any man be Hashem Amashiach he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new right so 
That's where we are now. From being brain polluted, that's old things. Now everything be supposed to be coming new as you're cleaned up, as it, as the Mashiach Messiah told us in St. John 15 and 3, by the word. This word is supposed to clean us up. Our story, 